together as you oh, sort, yeah. sort of outlining to you. It's all interconnected. And and I think part of the big problem too, I mean, there, look, there's a huge messaging problem, right? When people yeah. don't know that the Affordable Care Act and Obamacare are the same thing, y- you failed and you failed miserably. And I know mm. why that happened because Obamacare sounds like a giant government run program, yeah. just the word. And a lot of people hate the black guy, right? right? So yeah. Well, up- and then they also made a big deal about the size of the legislation as Sean Spicer, a uh, uh, little Sean Spicer continues to do. I mean, to me, there's no greater evidence of where racism came into play when once Obama's out of office and all these people are at town halls screaming that they don't want to lose their health care. Right. Like when it was (laughs) when it was Obama's, they hated it. Yeah. But now that he's out of office, they love it. So, you know, don't tell me it wasn't racial. It absolutely was. But when you start to talk about Obamacare and it was it was a derogatory term from the beginning, it was coined to make it sound like it was a dangerous big government program. I know what Obama was trying to do when he got up and said, I don't mind because it means I care like I get it he was ill-advised to do that Mm -hmm. what we should have done is fought that all the way through that it's not because people didn't understand that the Affordable Care Act is a law that incorporates a lot of big things yeah and it wasn't just you don't buy Obamacare you don't I mean if you ever listen to me on any program (laughs) I always say Obamacare is not a thing right you don't you don't enroll in Obamacare you don't have Obamacare you don't buy Obamacare right it's it's a nickname for the law that gets rid of pre existing condition exclusions. It's the law that says you no longer can have lifetime caps. It's Uh a law that says that you can stay on your parents' plan until you're 26. It's the law that says if you're going to buy a plan through the exchange, you may qualify for some premium support, a subsidy. It's it's the law that did a lot of really good things for a lot of people in the states that were allowed to expand Medicaid. It expanded Medicaid. So it's it's all encompassing, and it did a lot of amazing things that people didn't even realize were being done on their behalf. That's right. That's right. So now the problem is that if you try to demonize it and 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 you try to take it away you're taking away all of these little not even little but all of these pieces mm-hmm. that made people's lives so much better and and it's a messaging problem and the democrats have to get out in front of it and they need to hammer home again and again and again all of the components of the Affordable Care Act. Yes. And the really frustrating aspect to all of this, Jackie, is the fact that the Republican